I recommend dating somebody famous? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> I would not. I think I'm the, if my here's my thing. I think women make a lot of um I think a lot of women want a certain type of notoriety and being with a certain guy. That's not where your worth comes from. That's not where your validation comes from. Your validation comes from God and God alone. It doesn't matter who you're with. And I think that I think we make women make a lot of like athletes and entertainers and wanting to be with these certain kind of guys. And we've got into the high value men thing and everything like that. I'm not saying these guys are bad, but you have to also understand these guys are self. These guys are are self-made men. There's a lot of men, a lot of women, excuse me, that want these men. Right. So at the end of the day, these men are accustomed to getting their way. And because they're the higher, there's a lot more that want them, they're able to pick and choose and they're able to do whatever. And so as a woman, a lot of women go into a situation saying, hey, I want this kind of guy. Not understanding that these guys have the pick of the litter. They ain't going to put up with everything. You don't have to settle and compromise and work things out within yourself before they will feel like they need to do that too. What's going on guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Make sure you like this video. Now, at the beginning of this video, I have a clip playing of Samantha Lee Gibson. She is the former wife of Tyrese. And she had a very inter interesting video where she was speaking to women about their standards and what they're looking for in relationships. And she basically talked about how if she had to give advice to women about dating famous men, she would tell them not to do it. Now, I know that there are going to be people who are going to look at that and they're going to say, wow, you know, she's kind of being hypocritical because she dated a famous guy. She married a famous guy. So why would you tell other women not to do so? Well, we don't know how that relationship got started. Maybe that's wasn't, that wasn't something she was looking for at first, but she settled into it. But what ended up happening, she got divorced, right? And it doesn't seem to me that she's looking back, <laughs> okay? Uh, she doesn't seem to be looking back at all. I think she's focused on what she has moving forward. And that's the type of advice a lot of modern day women need to hear. You know, a lot of modern day women are very delusional and they need to wake up they need to wake up before it is too late they go around thinking that they have all these options and you got and these are women now okay who are not famous these are women who don't have a ton of notoriety or not even a ton of money and resources themselves now they may have an education they may have a good job but they got a ton of debt maybe some children but because they have a nice body, because they lucked out on the um, Gene Olympics, so to speak, or the you know where they uh, they were able to be blessed with a lot of beauty, they think that they're gonna be able to utilize that to get them a rich, successful man uh, who's famous, you know, a rapper or athlete right and she's basically telling them listen you need to be very much so realistic about what you're looking for now i'm gonna leave a link to the video in the description box the full video y'all can go and check it out um, because she says some really good things now people are going to say she's a hypocrite i don't know about that she's only dated one famous guy that i know of and that's tyrese i don't know any other famous men she's been with She's not like these other women who go from this famous guy to that famous guy to the point to where now they're just dating, you know, fake rich men who fly them out to Dubai. OK, she's, she's not one of those type of women. Uh, so I think that what a lot of modern women don't understand is that and she said it. She said, listen, these guys have a lot of options. They have a lot to choose from. You're not going to get chose nine times out of 10. You're not going to be the main chick. You're not going to be the wife. At best, you're going to be a one night stand. 
at best you're going to be a side piece or you might be a short-term girlfriend you know while a guy is in between relationships you're that bridge and then he leaves you to either go back to the ex or to somebody he actually wants to be in a relationship with and that's what these rappers and athletes do all the time they will date women in the short term break up with them and go back to their ex or to another woman they actually want to be with because they really didn't want to be with this woman this particular female like that because they know that she's a clout chaser they know that she's trying to build something off of their name so they treat her accordingly because these guys when they're around these women they know these women are only with them because of what they have that's why it's so easy for them to dump them and get with other women it's so easy for them if they do get in relationships with these women to cheat on them because they know these women ain't with them for the right reasons anyway they're not with them for the right reasons they know this and they will treat you accordingly now in the case of samantha i guess she's become like a, a life coach and, and there's nothing wrong with that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that there's a lot of women out here who need advice there's a lot of women out here that are lacking there's a lot of women out here who are struggling there's a lot of women out here who need to hear from women like her about being realistic with their standards and what they are looking for right and i'm all for people understanding that because a lot of times you have people who will coddle women they will pat women on the back and say hey you can be anything you want to be and you can date whoever you want to date when that's not the case people are going to get chose and then there's people who are not going to get chose and there's a lot of women who aren't going to get chose you got a lot of women who are going to be out here trying to chase these guys to the point to where they're no longer again getting chose they're alone they've gotten older they're babysitting the grandkids they're in and out of bad relationships with men they really don't want to be with but they don't want to be alone so they're willing to compromise because they don't want to be alone that's a sad life to live but a lot of women are living that life they're living that life because they spent the best years of their life trying to be a groupie they spent the best years of their life trying you know being a side piece you know there are women who've been side chicks for over a decade who's been side chicks uh half of their adult life from the time they turn 18 19 to the time they are in their late 20s early 30s mid 30s they out here being side chicks how in the world are you a side chick that long and you don't know that the guy that you are with has a wife is it because he's famous is it because he has a lot of money we all know that there are women who are willing to compromise their morals if there's some financial gain in it but what's crazy is that these same women will be looking for a good guy a decent guy who respects them but you don't respect yourself now we all make mistakes we all do things that we have regrets about but when you have the opportunity to get a man of value and you pass that over because he's too nice or he doesn't have enough ho hoes you know he doesn't have enough women running behind him because women do value that unfortunately there are women who value whether a man can attract a lot of women or not that's the new thing see that's that that's that warped mentality of women it's very backwards you would think a woman wants a nice decent guy but she only wants that guy when she hadn't had a couple kids by a couple different dysfunctional males and then she wants to come back to you saying hey i want a good decent guy now they want that decent guy now because they need a step daddy they need somebody to help them with them kids they don't want to be alone they don't want to grow old alone people can say whatever they want but who's more miserable a single guy who's a bachelor into his older years or a woman who's home alone with cats 
babysitting, no love life. Because from what I understand, you know, women's drive to have relations actually grows the older they get. <laughs> you know, who you going to call up? <laughs> Honestly, man, I think that what she's saying, a lot of modern day women need to hear. Because unfortunately, there's a group of women and males who tell these women what they want to hear. They don't tell these women the harsh realities of trying to chase men who have options. You got women who are who will waste the best years of their life trying to chase after these rappers and these athletes. You're one of many women that these guys have or are trying to get at these guys and what's funny is that these guys never leak their dms have y'all noticed that when these guys get put on blast they never leak their dms with the, unless they're in a situation where they feel like somebody's lying on them right but have you noticed that a lot of times these guys will they will get put on blast by these side chicks and these jump offs. But what she won't show you in the messages is that she probably messaged them first because you can delete your messages to make the other person look bad. These women are going from DM to DM of every athlete that is near them, every <clears throat> rapper that they can to get their attention. That's what they're doing. And when they can't get anything out of that, then they put these guys on blast, trying to make it seem like these guys were desperados, like they were desperate for their attention, like they were desperate to talk to them, when really it was the other way around. There's a lot of desperate women out here. There's a lot of desperate women who want the attention of men that don't want them. And they need to hear it from somebody who was in a relationship with someone who's famous who was married to them she wasn't no baby mama she wasn't no side piece she was, she was a wife she was a wife who she seemed like she is happier not being with tyrese no more but that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother video 